picked up from my local hobby store this Bluetooth corner weight system. Um, I still, I probably do a video of us corner weighing this car here. The, the actual. I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it. I've been good with the team, never bad for it. I'm a work for the win, another slack for it. And I live for the king, I got a crown for it. I know the way, ayy. Know the way, he really is the way. He the way, ayy. You can follow me, ayy. I know the way, ayy. Never been afraid, cause we know the way, ayy. Uh, ay, ain't no shame in the way See me smile like I don't hide the pain in my face oh, no, no. Give my all, I'm raising the stakes People try to beat you, but we ain't in the race uh, ay, Gotta believe there's still an open door if you don't see it Just as long as I know my purpose, I won't lose it, I can't leave it I get knocked down all the time, it doesn't mean that I'm defeated I'm going through changes, through changes Where's grace, know my place Yeah, I made my but I didn't stay, kept the faith Not the same, after everything I've been through All I really wanna say I, I, I've is I've been up for a minute, now I'm down for it I've been good with the team, never bad for it I'ma work for the win, I never slack for it And I live for the Welcome to Peanut Automotive Adventures Oh yeah, we in the honeycomb hideout yeah. Team run it, right Peanut? Yeah In the honeycomb hideout We got yeah. You know, another video coming for you, yeah. for all you guys uh, that support us. You know, we appreciate it 110%. And, you know, uh, what you got to say, Peanut? It's been a while, right? Been a while, but yeah. but but we here, we here. But before we get into the intro, let's go ahead and give a shout out to our official sponsor. Right, right there, the graphic spot, VA.com. Uh, where Peanut is pointing is where, you know, you can find the link, you know, the address, the web address. To our official sponsor, he supports us 110. Yep. Uh, percent He's teaching us a lot about you know certain things when it comes to graphic design, even when it comes to cars. You know what I'm saying? So yep. if you guys need banners, decals, t-shirts, um, what else he does? Peanuts, screen printing, yep. all that. You know he's he's the person to go to. Uh, yep. The graphic www.thegraphicspotva.com. And let's get into this intro. Let's get into the intro, right? Hold on, hold on. Don't move yet. Don't move yet. Peanut anxious, y'all, because this video is going to be on, we're going to bring an update on what we're doing with the RC cars. Yep. Uh, we haven't did a video in a while. It's been a while. It's been almost a month and a half, maybe two months. You know, our last uh, RC video was with the, um, when we went to the Solid Axle Showdown up in Colonial Heights yep. event with, uh, what was the name of the uh, group, Peanut, that was running that? Do you remember? Do you remember? Showtime RC yeah, Motorsports. Sure. Showtime RC Motorsports yeah. put on a great event. Yeah. You know, so we want you guys, we have been in here grinding on both the big stuff, as you can yeah. see old Roscoe behind us. Wait. Yeah, go ahead, point at old Roscoe. Yeah. yeah, Roscoe, we've been grinding. Look, we still ain't done. Yeah. I gotta figure out what's going on with these tail lights. Yeah. But that's another video. Yeah. But, another video. um, but you know we're gonna go ahead show y'all what we've been yep. up to uh give you prov provide you uh team run it with an update with an update with hashtag team run it yeah so all right enough of this talking let's turn this camera around okay team run it here's the rc cars right here yep. uh they're pretty much tracks with drag slashes uh this is actually a drag slash chassis uh What's that? That's a low center of gravity chassis, but yep. mainly what we're talking about, we're going to talk about this truck here yeah. and how did we come up with this truck and whatnot. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us. Go ahead. Do you remember what, what, we, we, what we did? We bought the parts to... Okay. Okay. You're right. You're right. Yeah. And uh, we have... Go ahead. Keep, keep on talking. Had some instructions. Okay, okay. What instructions that look? The instructions. He's right, team. Yeah. Run it because yeah. pretty much our instructions, not the instructions, but it was a parts yeah. list that, uh, how, how you know, as you can see, I highlighted some parts. Uh, yeah. Let me give you the background on on this truck here. So this was the extra body from the yeah. original drag slash, yeah, which right. of course you guys, team, run it. No, we gonna go with a Buick Grand National body, yeah. GNX body, however you want to see it, call it. And we had this extra truck body. Yes. Yeah, so. And because we had an extra truck body, after providing some upgrades and whatnot to this car, to 
that one. We had a ton of extra parts. Go ahead, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up for us. We had a ton of, come on, I got you, I got you. We're gonna sit it right here on Roscoe. Yep. Truck on truck crime right there. So uh, we had a bunch of extra parts right here. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I had to do was I had to buy another chassis. Yeah. We went on eBay and purchased this chassis. It was like, uh, I want to say 14 bucks yeah. on eBay. Yeah. And um, and we had extra shock towers. I had an extra uh, set yeah. of uh, drag slash yeah. shocks. Uh, we had an extra motor. We had an extra uh, speed controller. Yeah. Uh, and also I had to buy a uh, purchase an extra uh, uh, transmitter and receiver. And we had an extra box. So what we did was we went ahead and put together another drag slash, as y'all can see. Yeah. Uh, the only extra, and also we didn't have the extra rims and tires. We had yeah. to purchase we had those to. separate, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had an extra willy bar from yeah. upgrading this yeah. willy bar on this car to the aluminum willy bar. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. you know, we had all this, these extra parts. It was like, yeah. hey, let's go ahead and put another one together. Yeah. And that's what we did. So yesterday I ran this truck for the first time yeah. peanut don't even know it but i ran it for the first time which peanut's going to run it too and um ran it for the first time yeah it's on brushless on 2s yep. uh on a brushless uh, uh speed controller yep. and um but we do got another it should be here tomorrow i ordered um <laughs> a, a not, not brushless. Yeah. this is brushed on a brush speed controller yeah. with a 2s setting owned it xl5 but we did order it'll be here tomorrow the yep. vxl3 yep. along with the um brushless motor yep. oh, as a pack brushless. i got it off ebay and um and it, it'll be here tomorrow and we're going to install yeah. it and i'm going to allow peanut to run this truck too he's going to run his bandit and his truck uh yeah yeah that's it um this is for the gnss yeah uh receiver that's gps for, module that's that what, sits on there that's for. um yeah th this is what we've been doing uh team run it you know we went on ahead actually i'm not gonna take credit for this because peanut i actually had peanut put this one together mm -hmm. because what i'm trying to teach him is skills mechanical skills aptitude and uh tools how to use tools how to put things together and he did a great job as y'all can see team run it you know he did a great job now the only thing he didn't do was uh, I went ahead piece by piece, put together a 727R transmission for this because at first, I don't know if you can get that pink transmission down there, the one with the pink cover oh, yeah. for me, please. Right. At first yeah. we had installed the regular, you know, transmission yeah. right here. We, this was installed on this to begin with, but yeah. I went ahead and just out of, uh, yeah. uh, trying to learn something, I went ahead and order here. each of these, uh, transmission pieces uh little by little and put it together finally put it together installed it probably two days ago along with the i don't know if you guys can see it i had to order some additional bearings yeah. for the transmission and whatnot yeah. which we got an extra yeah. set right there in case we ever want to build another drag slash it's there yeah. um so okay. all this peanut put together uh what else can we say about this I finally glued the wheels on. Yep. That was yep. kind of a pain, but it, yeah. you know, gluing wheels yep. to me is like an art. Um, and we actually did the adjustments on. Let me show them our new tool too, because yep. I never got around to showing them this. T run it. This is the. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, look, it's carbon fiber, right? Yeah, it's carbon fiber. Let me get back off of it. It's also carbon. Fiber. It's a four millimeter wrench, pretty much, yep. and it makes. The uh, toe yes. adjustments and the camber adjustments so much easy now. Like, like this wrench do not slip. Uh, let me see if y'all can see it. And and I got this wrench, I believe, down. I'm going to have to check again. I got it down in the comment, not the comment section, but the section that describes the video on our channel. Yep. Uh, each video, I'll check. But, man, it makes it so much easier yeah. doing adjustments. I'm more precise with this thing than I was with. Grab that blue one right there, Peanut, that wrench. And this one. Go ahead. You hold that one. Then this one. You, he's right. Yeah. That wrench right there was giving me the blues. I was yeah. making it work, but, man, the thing was giving me. But yeah. this wrench right here, This one was, that's a beast. Yeah. Carbon fiber. And it came with different, um, I think, a five millimeter because you can unscrew this right here. Let me get them. Go ahead. You can unscrew this right here, yeah. the five millimeter, six millimeter. Yeah, Got it off Amazon. Yeah. Great tool. Great tool. 
And you know, it makes life so much easy. Look at that. Yeah. See how that, all right, Peanut, you try that blue one on there. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me do mine first. See, look, yeah. it makes life so much easy. Look at that. Yeah. All right, you try the blue one on there. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, but it. Yeah. Well, that's a five millimeter, my yeah. bad. That's the wrong size five for that. Millimeter you need size. a four millimeter, but I think we got a little yeah. cheapy four millimeter somewhere around here. But, you know, that's what we've been up to, Team Running. You know, this uh, peanut pieced this one together. He put it together himself with my um, with my uh, supervision, of course. Uh, you know, he did a great job on this. You know, he did a great job. You know, put it all together. Let's spin it around so they can see where you had installed the servo. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull it forward. The yeah, the servo. He installed that in there, yeah. you know. That's another thing we had to order yeah, too. We didn't. We to maybe we did that. have the extra servo. Yeah, I think we did. In, in this drawer right here. Yeah. But we had so many extra parts. We just had to put another one together, and also I had an extra set of um, these are one degree toe uh, arms in the back. One. This one has the zero degree toe arms in the back. Yeah. From Traxxas, they come with two degrees of toe. Yeah. So I like it without the toe. Yeah. I think uh, it grabs more traction, and it makes. Um, uh, to me, uh, with the right camber settings, you, you get that contact yeah. patch yeah. on on the pavement, you know. Uh, what else? What else, Peanut? What else? All right, Team Runner. Also, what, what we did, too, was we went ahead and picked up from our local hobby store this Bluetooth corner weight system. Yep. Um, I still, I probably do a video of us yeah. corner weighing this car here, the, the actual truck, uh, our C10. I did corner weight this one, yeah. and I'm gonna show y'all the upgrades that we did uh, to it to get it to balance 50 50 left right. Hold on, hold on, go ahead, go ahead, you can lift it up. Go ahead. Yep, yep, we had to lift it up. Here, you can just sit it right there. That's fine. Sit it right there. Just sit it right there. All right, we had to, um, I did corner weight balance this car. I might move the speed control a little bit farther back, but we relocated everything. As you can see, everything's removed here. And let me see if here. I can show them here. And we and moved it all to the middle, right? Yeah, so. Go ahead. Go ahead. Explain it to us. So now the weight is like. Go ahead. Go ahead. We listen. Team Run It listening so to you. The weight's like the same on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From from left to yeah. right is 50-50. Yeah. 80% yeah. of the weight is in the back. Yeah. We got 20% in the front, yeah. but it kind of uh, went up a little bit yeah. because we added, as you all can see, the GPS yeah. module right here. It added yeah. just a little bit weight. Not not much. But what I'm going to end up doing again is um, I'm probably going to add not too much weight to the front, but use this, of course, to balance everything yeah. and try to add a little bit yeah. of weight to the front and do the math. But this thing is a beast. It works yeah. off of your yeah. phone. It's a, uh, go ahead, Peanut, you can get it. It, it works off your phone yep. and it's an app for your phone and it's Bluetooth enabled yeah. and I love it. This yeah. thing is nice. Yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, we didn't mind buying it. We love tools, right? We yeah. love tools. See, yeah. we love tools. So, you know, and it's really helping this car, but, but the one thing that I did run into is I got to do some shock adjustments. I'm still running the pretty much the factory, uh, drag slash shocks. Uh, because of the class I want to run in with this, but we might upgrade because <sighs> we might upgrade because I want to run the VXL class. And I know with Street Eliminator, we could upgrade the shock. So yeah, if we ever can. move up to Street Eliminator, yeah, uh, which in 2023, I plan on doing a lot of, we, we plan on doing a lot of uh, no prep RC racing. Yeah. So we, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But man, this made a world of a difference putting that weight in the middle. Yeah. Putting that does. weight in the middle. It made a world of difference. Um, you know, that that's it right there. Yeah. That's what we've been up to and when it comes to the RCs, right? Yeah. You know, that's what we've been up to. And we're going to keep on grinding on them little by little. Yeah. We're grinding on the small stuff and the big stuff, y'all. So this is the one Peanut put together right here. Yeah. We haven't even gave him a name yet, but we're going to name him. We're going to name them. And what we were showing y'all earlier was just how we was ordering the screws and whatnot. But then I got smart, right? I was ordering, we was ordering screws off of, um, from Traxxas. Yep, but then there was, uh, some people on eBay, they sell you the bags of screws for really, really cheap. 
So what we did was we invested in this right here. Go ahead, open here. that. We invested in this from Harbor Freight where, I don't know if y'all can see it, where we've been putting the screws. We're trying to get organized for it to, for it to be faster when we put stuff together or yeah. repair stuff or whatever. Oh, uh, what, what's that in there? Hold on, let me put this one back. Yeah, we invested in this little toolbox here for we can for we could travel with it easy to carry and whatnot so it's all our extra parts are going in there what you got right there <coughs> excuse me spur gears yep spur gears. excuse me yep. yep hey this one we ain't got nothing empty yeah that one's empty because we, we still got space for more yeah. more uh additional parts yeah oh go ahead you, you can shut it here go ahead you can shut it yep, yep. All right, Team Run It, we're just going to go ahead and close out this video. Yeah. Just providing y'all a little update on what we've been doing with these RC cars. Uh, no prep RC. Um, you know, our next, not the next, next video, but maybe we're going to fit in some of the uh, trucks. Yep. And hopefully we'll have that. Yeah. Uh, we did pick up a Tamiya Clod Buster that we haven't even put together yet. Yeah. It's still in the box. So we, we probably going to start putting that together. Yeah. We'll do a video on that. Do a video on our tracks and slashes. And uh, what was the other tracks that we got? It's the Slash and the Stampedes. Uh, we'll probably, since the weather's getting nice and cool, we probably go back in the backyard, play in the dirt and grass on our little makeshift track. And, you know, we just want to provide y'all RC update. You know, thank you for all the support, you know, team running. You know, we really appreciate it. You guys keep us going. We keep pushing. Peanut loves it, right? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. See, look at him. He love it. And also, we've been trying to fit everything in, you know, because of uh, his soccer practices and whatnot. And today was one of them days where he didn't have soccer practice. So we was like, let's fit a video in. Let's get a video in because it's been a while, you know. So, uh, so you know, we, we just enjoying life, man. Enjoying this automotive lifestyle, if that's what you want to call it. This automotive adventure. This automotive culture, right? Yeah. Look at Peanut. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But, A, we're going to sign off. Don't forget. Get to comment, like, subscribe, and share, right? Yeah. And ring that notification button, too, for when y'all know, you know, Team Running can know when we get some new content, new videos out, you know, it'll notify you, yeah. you know, ring that notification bell. But Team Run It, I'm James. That's Peanut. That's Peanut. I'm James. Uh, this is Peanuts Automotive Adventures. Appreciate all the support. Yeah. Peanuts Automotive Adventure, we're out. Peace. 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 Yeah. <laughs>